Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. Yo, it's Sambo, and joining us in this very special Christmas episode is my main Drenai tank, Seraphis. Say good day, Seraphis. Peace and prosperity. Peace and prosperity, and in fact, that's indeed a perfect message for the season. As you can see, folks, we are here, we're in WoW, and it is Christmas time. Let's have a look at our calendar here, and you'll see what I mean. Here we are, you can see from the 15th of December, which of course has already passed, through to up here on the 2nd of January next year, it is the Winter Vale, the Feast of Winter Vale. And if we click on that, you can see here that it says Great Father Winter is visiting the cities of Ironforge and Orgrimmar, courtesy of Smoky Wood Pastures. And throughout Azeroth, it is the season to be jolly. And of course, that's right, it is the season to be jolly. Christmas is nearly upon us folks it's a fantastic time of the year I love Christmas and I love all the trappings and so what I thought I would do is hop on my main here and just film a little Christmas special in case you don't know what goes on in the world of Warcraft what you can do all of the events that you can take part in and of course some of the changes that have happened in the last couple of years and especially in the most recent patch now before I go any further I do want to say that I've of course done all of these in the past and if we have a look down at my world events you'll go down here to winter vale and you can see i've already got all these achievements now i'm hoping that that doesn't mean we're going to miss out on anything I do know that a couple of the quests now have become level 80 plus dailies, so you've got to be a little bit careful of that. But I can see here we've actually got ourselves a new achievement. Now, of course, it doesn't count towards the, where are we, this one here, what a long, strange trip it's been. Well, it didn't for me because it never existed when I did that. But if we go down here and have a look, you can see this is new. It says, use your gaudy Winter Vale sweater to carol in the enemy capital cities during the Feast of Winter Vale. Now, I've no idea what that's about I think it's one of the new items that you actually get as a reward as part of the Christmas festivities and I'm pretty sure it's a bright green and red horrible looking sweater and we uh, probably will come across that and I think we have to go into the enemy cities and actually have a bit of a dance or carol in those cities so if you're not into PvP that's not going to be much fun for you unfortunately but again I'm not sure that it's actually necessary as part of the what a strange trip it's been what a long strange trip it's been achievements certainly wasn't for me one other thing that I did want to cover off is you may be looking at me and going hey how come you're kind of wearing half a mix across if you like between the DK starting zone greens and the blues like what is going on and therefore how come you've still got 154k base health well folks that of course is all because of the most recent patch and transmogrifying so in actual fact if I click on all of these if I control click on my gear we'll start to see what I really really look like and I'll explain this very briefly there we go so that is what I actually look like as you can tell my gear is not very attractive and it's look it's not the best gear you can get but I'm happy with it what I've done is I've gone in and had it transmogrified. Now, I'll cover off transmogrification in a completely different episode, but long story short, you can see there in the pink text up above at the top of the tooltip, it says transmogrified, the crown of wings, transmogrified to the archerous knight's hood. And what it means is that basically we've now got appearance slots in WoW. And this is a really, really big deal, of course, because for years and years and years, we haven't had appearance slots in WoW. And a lot of people have really wanted them and well you'll be pleased to know we've got them now with this transmogrification service and basically I've got a whole bunch of gear that's transmogged and it's great for the game by the way because what it means is that you can now look exactly how you like you see a lot of people running around with really crazy looks and of course if you think about it this is where people are able to go into, say, you know, the old school dungeons and pick up their tier 2, tier 3 sets. And, you know, I'm looking at things like the Judgment set for your Pally um, or your typical Shadow Priest set. You know, all of those classic old school uh, armor sets you can now actually wear but still have your real gear on underneath. Now, what I thought I might do very briefly is I'll hop over and show you where that vendor is just so if you're wanting, to, like really dying to get there or if you haven't played the game for a while and you'd like to know, this is where it is. Now, I'll open up the map so you can see where we are in Stormwind. 
and here we go we were down at the center of the trade district what I'm going to do is fly over here to basically the bottom area of Cathedral Square right next to the canal so we're round about here somewhere so I'll keep this map open as we fly over and what you'll notice is that there's a new shop down here so if we hop on down there we go this so you can pick it up because it's the three winds that's a new shop and you know you're in the right place because you've got this ethereal looking stuff out the front here and if we go on inside you can see we've now got the arcane reforger in here and of course i'm sure you know what that does that allows you to readjust your stats very handy but we've got two new vendors here one is there we go the void storage and that's a new functionality in the game that we'll talk about in a, another episode and of course here there we go the transmogrifier so that's the one that we're talking about here you can see here I've basically dropped equipment into these slots that I want those slots to look like but again we'll go over that later on I just wanted to quickly show you where it was as you know this episode is all about Christmas the joy of Christmas and of course here in Azeroth you can see that there are presents there's decorations we're really getting ourselves into the Christmas spirit here and oh god I hate that mount it's like a plucked chicken that's the death night mount oh that's nicer just got a random mod there called gut pet which allows us to randomly summon uh, any of our mounts which is very cool all right so let's get started with the christmas stuff how do you start uh on the christmas whole christmas track now again hopefully this isn't going to be too messed up because i've already done them before but pretty sure we're going to be fine so if there are any minor differences or you can't do any of the stuff or there's more things that i can't see because i've already done them uh then let me know but i'm pretty sure what you need to do is find your local smoky wood pastures rep in the center of the town of your choice now if you can't find him you may get it from these these guys over here and it's these the human commoners so as you know whenever there's an event in the world of warcraft a commoner comes out to play they may have a little cookie crumb quest sending you somewhere if i talk to them at the moment there you go they just talk about great father winter see you later see you later but for me what i want to do is head over here to the smoky wood pastures rep and we'll see what they've got to say i got the best deal anywhere and there you go, you got the best deals anywhere. Right, for a start, you can see they're actually a shop, which is really cool. And they have a bunch of wrapping paper. They have holiday spices. They've got candy canes. Uh, they've got recipes like eggnog, gingerbread cookies. They've got red winter clothes for tailoring. They've got holiday spirits. Uh, they've got hot apple cider recipes and winter boots if you are a tailor. So a whole bunch of cool things there. But what they do have, as you can see, is the Great Father Winter Is Here quest. Have a wondrous winter veil, friend. Be sure to say hello to Great Father Winter, who's currently in Ironforge. If you've been nice this year, you'll receive wondrous treats on the day of the Feast of Winter Vale. And be sure to tell him what you hope to get this year. Also, be sure to stock up on treats to give those who've been nice this year. We have a great selection to choose from, fresh from our farm to your plate. It's Smoky Wood Pastures Wholesome Goodness. So you can see here, this is the quest that actually drives us to Great Father Winter. And of course, Great Father Winter is basically Santa Claus in WoW. He is located near the Smoky Wood Pastures vendor area in Ironforge. All right, so let's accept that quest. There we go, Great Father Winter is here. And if we have a look at the map, I think it'll show us, there we go, that it's actually in Ironforge. So we need to get ourselves in there. If we look at Ironforge, you'll see it's out there in the commons area. So that's where we need to go. Let's just quickly look at this other merchant here. I'm pretty sure they sell the same stuff. Oh no, they don't. Okay, so you can see they've got some green garden tea, some drinks there. They've got some sparkling apple cider and some homemade meat pie. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I can't wait for meat pie in Christmas. I love that in real life. They've got some honeyed holiday ham. They've got some Great Father's Winter Ale, which is a strong alcoholic beverage. And of course, they've got the fizzy spirits and the spicy beef stick there. All great holiday foods. Now, before we leave Stormwind and make our way to Ironforge, what I also want to show you is what you can do inside inns. And this is quite an important one as well. You can see here we have these winter revelers. And by the way, let's just get rid of Macablo. Hey, Macablo. <laughs> see you later. Sorry. 
you're just getting in the way a little bit. All right, so we've got these winter revelers and you might notice that we can hover over this thing up here, the mistletoe. And the point with winter revelers is what you do is, well, you can chat hey to there. them. Ah, uh, mistletoe, they say. Hey there. there you go, a happy winter veil vale to you, friend. What you want to do is target one of them and then blow them a kiss. So let's lady. give that a go. Slash kiss. Bye. And there we go, you can see we've got ourselves a little buff there and it says mistletoe, you've kissed someone under a sprig of mistletoe and that stays on there for an hour so you can't spam it over and over. Now the reason you want to do that I believe, if I remember rightly, is because in the Winter Veil series of section rather of the achievements, you've got some stuff that you want to do in here. I think, oh I can't remember, I'm trying to uh, use a mistletoe, I think there's achievements related to it pretty sure there are anyway I'm just gonna waste your time wandering through there but look it up on something like Wowhead and I'm sure you'll be able to figure that one out but either way it's a nice thing to do anyhow I'm sure it's part of something I honestly can't remember what off the top of my head it's been such a long time since I've done these alright so of course what we want to do now is make our way over to Ironforge now of course you can do that a number of ways you can either hop over to the flight person where is she up here of course you can hop in here we can get inside there we go and take a flight to Ironforge if you like or of course if you've got your own mount like we have we can fly directly there because you know you can fly over Stormwind now by the way special treat for those of you who haven't seen Stormwind from the air we'll roll our camera right in we'll get rid of the UI this is what it looks like now up above Stormwind it is a visual treat it just looks fantastic there's a bunch of new areas as well if you haven't been to Stormwind for quite a while well this is gonna blow you away because it is completely different now you can see we've got auction houses by the way down there this is the old dwarven district and we've got a new area over here where there's a bunch of portals to other zones there is the where is it there it is the stormwind castle itself has completely changed we've now got like parks and gardens uh, we've got over here like a cemetery a lake uh, at the back of the cathedral there and we've got a farm pumpkins you name it it is all completely different so there you go just a quick sneak peek of what Stormwind looks like from the air but of course guys the other way of getting to Ironforge in case you didn't know is to catch the deep run tram and I think that's what we're gonna do just to do something different and by the way down here this is where the other auction house is in case you didn't know there are now two auction houses in Stormwind so it's quite handy actually and a lot of people tend to hang out over this side of town all right, so what we want to do is get ourselves on a mount. Let's force ourselves a ground one and see what pops up. Oh, chopper! Get on the chopper. There we go. Now, if you come over here, and by the way, if we look on the map, this is where we are in the Dwarven District. And you'll notice that there's this portal here built by the gnomes and the dwarves, and mainly the gnomes, actually. And we hop inside here, and of course, that takes us into the subway, i.e. the deep run a tram and this is just a nice quick way of getting to Ironforge if you're too low level that you haven't got a flying mount or you can't be bothered taking a uh, flight path then it's just literally like a subway and we come in here and there's a couple of tracks and you basically just need to wait for a train to rock up now if you're on a PvP server or even if you're not on a PV server, PvP ser server this is where a lot of horde tend to invade Stormwind City or Ironforge they come in through the deep run train and they'll actually run the full length because this is an underground passage from Stormwind to Ironforge and quite often you'll hear the word that there are horde in the tram system this is where they mean all right so what we might do is pause the video while we wait for the tram to come I think otherwise we're going to be waiting around for a while I don't know what sort of timer it's on by the way let's make her dance hey Seraphis bit of a dance there there we go now by the way 10 internet points for anyone who can tell me what this real-life dance is modeled from it's actually modeled from a performer a real-life performer and there we go we don't have to pause the video at all let's get a front seat in the deep run tram and we are off folks now by the way I'm gonna zoom right in again so we can get a good look around here a lot of people don't know but you actually pass underwater uh, I think it's something like Loch Moden or something like that that you actually pass under you can see we're going deep underground and again you can actually run this if you're so inclined you don't have to take the tram 
But what you will notice is that when we pass underwater, uh, sometimes if you're lucky, you'll actually get to see the Loch Ness Monster. Can we see it over that side? No. Can we see it over there very quickly, quickly? And no, we didn't get to see it that time. Now, of course, you can always get out and have a look for it. Uh, and in the old days, you used to actually be able to glitch in and swim around in there. I don't think you can do that anymore, though. All right, so you can see we're still going down. It's quite a long tram ride. Let's see if uh, Seraphis here has got something funny she can tell us. Single Dranai female seeks blacksmith with grinding mill to take care of me and my gorgeous hooves. Oh dear, oh dear. A grinding wheel to take care of your hooves, i.e. your nails. That is disturbing, Seraphis. Now, in case you're wondering, by the way, what are my specs? This is basically one of my main characters. And I am a tank and a DPS, primarily a tank. And, of course, that means I am a blood spec. Maybe you've come from the days where tanking on a DK used to be... What was it? Frost, I think it was. And nowadays it is blood. So I'll quickly show you my talent tree once we load in here. Gosh, it's taking a while to load into good old Ironforge. Guess we haven't been here for a while. There we go. All right, so if I hit N, of course, to bring them up, there we go. You can see I'm basically fully blood and I've got my spares in unholy there. I've got the uh, virulence, which increases the damage done by my diseases by 30%, and I've increased the duration of my blood plague and frost fever by 12 seconds. So that for me is a great tanking spec. And there, by the way, is my DPS. If you want to pause the video and take a look at it, it's not my PvP DPS. Of course, if I was PvPing, I'd have my uh, unholy spec up. All right, so there we go. That's enough of that. We're here for Christmas. Here we go. We are now inside Ironforge. And by the way, you can fly inside Ironforge as well. It's very cool. And what we want to do is get ourselves over to the Smoky Wood Pastures Rep. Let's go the long way over through the Great Cauldron in the middle here, the Great Forge. There it is. And once again, so cool that you're able to see all of this from the air in our own steam, not from a bird. And there we go, Christmas decorations there. Let's fly down the shortcut here to get ourselves into the main commons area. There we go. And of course, the familiar site of Ironforge. And that is the auction house there. There we go. And the bank. And here we go. Can we find ourselves Great Father Winter? Let's go through the velvet rope. And there he is. Look at that. It is Great Father you Winter. Let's say good day. Akian Kora to you as well. And of course, if you're really clever, you'll be able to figure out what he's wearing there as well. Hi. Hi, there we go. Great Father Winter is here. Ho, ho, hello. I am Great Father Winter, and I, courtesy of the fine folks of Smoky Wood Pastures, fresh from our farm to your plate, it's Smoky Wood Pastures wholesome goodness. Bit of advertising there, I think. Would like to wish you a fantastic feast of Winter Vale. You've, if you've been good this year rather, maybe you'll receive treats from Smoky Wood Pastures as a, as your treat for the Feast of Winter Vale, huzzah! And you get yourself a gold 65 your there. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Alright, let's see, we've got here, oh, treats for Great Winter Father. Hey, can you do Great Winter Father a favour, little girl? Alright, so not to needlessly talk about myself in the third person, but Great Father, <laughs> that's quite funny actually, Great Father Winter has been at this all day, and he could use a treat himself. Very interesting. Alright, so some gingerbread cookies and ice cold milk to wash them down uh, with would be really something that would hit the spot. Think you could be a friend to the Great Father and fetch some for me. So you can see we have to bring five gingerbread cookies and an ice cold milk to him and we get our first little gift there of the Smoky Wood Pastures gift Safe pack. Travels. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to untrack that quest there just so we can track the Christmas quests only. And of course, there we go. He wants five gingerbread cookies and one ice cold milk. And we know for a fact that we can get them from one of these vendors, I think. Not that one. Must be from this one. Oh, do I have a deal for you? Let me browse your seasonal fare. Uh, what do we got here? Have we got ice cold milk? No. And have we got gingerbread cookies? No. All right, so this is where a lot of people get confused. You can see here that the gingerbread cookie is actually a recipe. Now, it just so happens that in my cooking, I have it from last year or the year before, however long ago it was. If I type in ginger here, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see there, there we go, gingerbread cookie. Now, you might have noticed in all of my other Let's Play episodes, 
that I was saying, hey, save up your eggs for Winter's Veil, for the Christmas quests. And this indeed is why. It's because you need small eggs in order to actually cook gingerbread cookies. And of course you also need holiday spices. So what we can do straight away is buy the five holiday spices. There we go, we've done that. Because we need, how many do we need to actually make here? Let's see. Get rid of that. Five of them. Okay, so we now need to go and find ourselves five eggs. Now, I don't think I've actually got any in my bank. So what we'll have to go and do is check either in the uh, guild vault. Let's see if we've got any eggs in here. I may have been smart and saved some in here at some point. Then again, knowing me, I probably haven't. Uh, no. All right, doesn't look like there. Oh, what's that? No. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Northern eggs. And there are five of them. Okay, this is interesting. What we'll do is we'll actually pop... Oh, hang on. I don't think I can use the auction house because my add-ons are broken after the most recent patch. Let's just go check that, see if we can actually buy anything off the AH. don't think we can unless I disabled my add-on, which is auctioneer. Ah, bugger. No, I don't think we can. Let's try searching, though, anyhow. And no, it's not looking very good, is it? It's looking very broken. Browse, it's broken. Yeah, okay. All right, so you're, normally what you do is you'd hop on here and buy your eggs. But what I'll do is I'll go grab some from my guild bank just as well. I've got them. And where are we? There we go. Northern eggs, they will do. I think they will do. Let's check. Or do we actually, whoops, we don't want a cooking fire. Or do we actually need to get the right eggs? This could be interesting. Um, let's go ginger. There we are. Small egg. Oh, okay. It looks like we're actually going to need that. All right, what I'm going to have to do is hop out and disable my add-ons. So we'll do that and we'll be right back. All right, there we go. I think that's them disabled. Let's hop over and see if we can actually hop ourselves onto the auction house now without it breaking. Fingers crossed. Here we are, auctioneer. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. All right, now, what was it we needed again? If we go to cooking and we type in ginger. There we go. We need five small eggs. So all we need to do is type small egg in there and search. Hopefully they're there. There we go. And you can see people are making an absolute killing there on the AH. And they are, yeah, a gold or two gold. So we'll buy them all out. Of course, money isn't an option for us at the moment, thank goodness. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Whoa, 10 gold for that one. Yowch. All right, probably bought the wrong ones in terms of price, but ah, never mind. We happen to have, what, $36,000, or rather 36000 and a half gold on us. So I think we've got more than enough. All right, let's open up our mail. And you can see there we go. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see in there that we also happen to have a email, or an in-game mail rather, from, who's that, from Great Father Winter. And let's actually open that up there. Please brew, share, and enjoy some steaming hot spiced apple cider with your friends throughout the holidays. And you can see there actually has a recipe there that we uh, unfortunately binds when you pick it up, which means you can't pop it on the AH. And we already know that recipe. Let's have a look. Yeah, already known. So we'll just destroy that. We're going to need it throughout these quests. There we go, we've actually got ourselves, oh, we've got 10 eggs. That's okay, I can pop more up on the AH. Now what I wanna do is bring out little Ragnaros because he's like a cooking fire. So let's go to our pets, go to our companions here. And I'm looking for, where are we, L? There he is, little Ragnaros. Too soon. Too soon, that's right. Come over here, you. Come on. Oh, come on. Here he comes, buried underground. Where's he gonna pop up? Oh, there he was. All right, so he is a cooking fire for us, which is great. And here we go, let's go to our gingerbread again. Gingerbread cookie, let's create five of those.
All right, all done, and let's not forget to sell up those eggs again on the AH. can probably put them up for more than we bought them for, which is great. There we go, gingerbread cookie. Now, the other thing that we need, though, and this can be confusing, is ice-cold milk. We need that for our quest as well. And basically, those vendors over there don't sell it. So what we need to do... Oh, give me a different mount. Come on, there we go. Wing Guardian, that'll do. What we need to do is actually get ourselves to an inn from memory. And I think there's one just over here somewhere. This one, it's a Regent vendor. There we go, the tavern. And I'm pretty sure one of these people, like the barmaid, actually sell ice cold milk. There we go. Five of those, and we are done. Just in case you need to know where you grab them from, because again, you don't actually get them off the vendors from Smoky Wood Pastures. All right, back to Father Winter we go, Father Great Winter. Or well, the Great Winter Father, rather. Gosh, I'm making up names now. Treats for Great Father Winter, and there we go. You're quite the helper to old Great Father Winter there, Seraphis. Have a great feast of Winter Vale. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. So we'll complete that quest there. And you can see we've got a bunch of reputation, which is very cool as well. And if we open this treat, we've got ourselves... Oh, it's very random, but we've got ourselves 10 copper bars. So that's pretty cool. All right, now, you can see over here, I think we've got some more quests. What have we got here? Golai Crumb. Not sure if that's to do with the Christmas season or not. Yes, it is. Look at this. The reason for the season. All right, gifts, treats, presents. Bah, I say. Those goblins pollute the true meaning of the season. The Feast of Winter Vale. This is a time of renewal. The land slumbers under a blanket of snow, brought forth by Great Father Winter, who is not the bumbling fool over there in the red suit. Interesting. If you're interested in learning what the feast is all about for yourself, ask historian Karn Karnik. What is that? Karnik. There we go. Got tongue-tied there for a second. At the Explorers League. I'm sure he'll be surprised that someone cares about history rather than getting presents. And there you go. It's a good message, isn't it? All right. So we have to go over and speak to someone in the, what is it, the historic area in the Explorers League. So let's do that straight away. All right. The chicken comes up. We'll use the plucked chicken. Horrible looking thing. That is a Death Knight specific mount that you can buy in the Archerous Hold, by the way, over in the Plaguelands, just in case you were wondering. All right, so again, if we look on our map, you'll see that we need to head round to the Hall of Explorers as we go through Tinker Town here. And here we are, the Hall of Explorers indeed. And right at the back here, I think, is the guy that we need to speak to. There he is, Historian Karnik. Talk to me. Talk to me. There we go, the Feast of Winter Vale, you say. Alas, in times past, it held a more substantial meaning to us dwarves. Nowadays, it seems as though others have turned the legend of Great Father Winter into something that helps to sell candies and presents. So there you go, a bit of a message on real life, I guess, is what's happening there. Um, it's no surprise that Golly is bitter about that sort of change. He and other dwarves like him cling to our past like a banner of war. While I think a little celebration is always good, it's important to remember the origins of the feast. There we go. So if you're interested in learning about it, read this book. And basically he says, when you're done, take the book to Maradon Bronzebeard. And I know for a fact he'll be interested in hearing that others have done it. So there you go. Feel free to read The Feast of Winter's Veil vale to learn more about the holiday. And when you're finished, go and speak with Bronzebeard. So you can see, basically, in our inventory, we will have got something. And here it is. It's the book, The Feast of Winter Vale. Now, I won't read it out, but of course, I'll flick through it. So if you are interested, you can pause the video if you're able to read that. And hopefully you'll get some idea of the backstory in Christmas in WoW. It's quite cool, actually. All right, so there we go. We've read it. But we'll just check in case. Hang on, where did I see them? Here we are. All right, so there's one over here and one over there in the museum. Hi, Explorer Magellus. What's Let's on see. Your mind? The Portents of Aldum. And no, that's Do a you normal quest as you're leveling through the game. And I think this one is the same. A little slime goes a long way, yeah. So that's just a normal quest. So what we want to do with ourselves is get back to Bronzebeard. Let's bring up the chopper. And make our way there. I think we can cut through the Great Forge. Oh, 
Oh, now do I see a daily there? What is that? Oh, I think that's one of my profession dailies, actually. Never mind. All right, so where is Bronzebeard? It's looking like he might actually be in the old King Magni's chamber, which is interesting. And yes, there he is. By the way, folks, if you're wondering where Magni is, yeah, it's a big story change that has happened since the Cataclysm, or possibly even before. And I won't spoil the plot there, but yes, you can see we've basically got the Wild Hammer Clan, and we've got Bronzebeard and the Dark Irons up here as well. Very interesting. Anyhow, let's have a chat to him. brings you to Iron? A very big law character. There we go. I bid you welcome to the Kingdom of Ironforge, friend. Uh, I always take an interest in those who choose to take an interest in the kingdom, its people, and its law. Is this why you're standing before me? The legends and lore surrounding the Winter Vale are ones that have faded down from the forefront of public thought over the years. While I recognize that the goblins are helping to revive the season for their own ends, the fact that the citizenry thinks about it, at least in some form, does good to keep such lore alive. Your desire to go beyond the material and learn about our past is an admirable trait, young Death Knight. I salute your erudite nature. There we go, we'll complete that quest, and we got ourselves some gold and some guild rep, which is very, very cool. All right, let's get ourselves out of here. And, by the way, you may have noticed, look at this, after all of these years, another special treat. It was always rumoured that this, this door here had something behind it. Well, you'll be pleased to know that it, in fact, does. And if we go down here, again, a special treat if you've never seen this before. This was always something that was hinted at. Now you get to actually come down in here. So if you don't want to know, then, yeah, close your eyes or pause the video or something. I'm not sure. The weird thing is, there we go, Old Ironforge. Now, believe it or not, this was actually always here, hidden underneath Ironforge. And again, you could actually glitch and get yourself in here if you really wanted to. But now it's freely open for everybody. Now, this Old Ironforge is what it used to look like back in the very, very early design of the game. And look at that. Amazing, isn't it? This is really, really very cool. I love this. So there's a whole bunch of lore around here that you probably will like to know about. And of course, you can get right down there into the very bottom of it if you really want to. Have a good old explore. This was my fault, my lord. I should have done more research on those tablets. And you can see that is Belgrim. I should have broken those damn tablets the day you bought them to me, Seraphis, but I didn't. We might still have our king's wisdom to guide us through these perilous times. So, as I said, there is a bunch of lore stuff going on here, um, and you'll want to read up on it. I won't actually spoil it here, but the great thing is that, you know, where you never used to be able to get to unless you glitched through the walls or something like that, you can now actually get to quite openly. And again, remembering this was always here. It's always been here buried underneath the original Ironforge. It's very, very cool if you ask me. I really love stuff like this. But of course, we're not here to wax lyrical about it. We're here... Oh, look, there's more of it downstairs too. We're here to deal with Christmas and of course keep up the Christmas spirit. I know we're just about to run out of time. We'll probably do this over a couple of episodes, by the way, so we'll make this episode one. There is one more thing that I want to show you uh, before we log out, and that is something that has changed in the recent feast of, or rather the festivities of the Feast of Winter Vale. So we'll just get ourselves back up topside. Here we go, let's mount up. Should let's mount our Grand Ice Mammoth. If you're wondering how we get this, this is actually a super duper exalted rep from the Sons of Hodir up in, well, I'll show you where they are. We have a look at our map and we zoom right out, go to Northrend and of course go to the Storm Peaks. Here we are over in Dun Nephilim. That's where the Sons of Hodir are and of course I've got myself Exalted Rep. We have a look at you, here's our reputations and from Wrath of the Lich, Lich King there you can see I've got most of those Exalted. Alright, so that's how you get this one. And it's actually a three person mount which is very cool. Now the difference this year is that we have this guy and he happens to have a daily quest. Now this daily quest called You're a Mean One will hopefully bring back lots and lots of memories for you. And if we click on it, you'll notice that in the past it wasn't a daily, but now it is. And I'll explain why in a second. A creature called the Abominable Grinch 
stole a shipment of treats, Seraphis. Now, before we go any further, you know that this is the normal Christmas Winter Vale quest, if you like, that happens every year. And of course, it's all got to do with Metzen the Reindeer. Now, before we go any further, 10 internet points to anybody who can tell me what Metzen the Reindeer is a reference to. It's actually a reference to a person. So there you go, I'll give you a clue. Who is it a reference to? All right, so here we go. Uh, be careful though, he's vicious, and a bunch of those little green gnomes do his bidding. You're going to need some help in facing him. Rumor has it that he's holding our treats and our beloved Metzen the Reindeer at the Growless Cave in the Hillsbrid foothills. Find the treats, Seraphis, and bring them back before the celebration is ruined and all the children of Stormwind are disappointed. So you can see we've got to recover the stolen treats and free Metzen the Reindeer after defeating the abominable Grinch who is hiding out near the Growless Cave in the Hillsbrad foothills. And you can see here we get ourselves as a reward a nice blue item there called a stolen present. Now this is there's a couple of important things here to note and we'll go over them again before we start in the next episode. But if you're going to race off and do this now, firstly it's a daily, okay, so you can do this every single day. Secondly, there's an, an opportunity in this to get random goods um, including marks by the way but the best thing you can get out of here in my opinion is a new companion pet called a lump of coal and that's a blue companion pet so everyone's going to try and do this daily to get that companion pet of course to try and bring up whoops bring up our number in terms of uh, where are we we want companions here we go this get your number of them up and of course that means that you're going to be able to increase where are we we're trying to look for our achievements for our pets here if I can find it gosh I've got so many achievements it's sad isn't it pretty sure it's in general maybe not is it in quest oh I don't know anyway somewhere here is the achievement for your pets yeah why can't I see it there we go the little game hunter and of course you want to keep getting as many companion pets as you can this will reward one of them so it's very cool but not only that, if we accept this, nowadays it actually shows you on the map where you need to go to grab it. And that is a big difference, by the way, because in the old days you used to have to kind of hunt around the world to try and find it. If we click on here, you're a mean one, click on the map, and there we go. It actually shows you outright where you need to go. That's where the cave is, and that's where the abominable Grinch is. Now, the third and final thing I wanted to mention to you is he is now super duper rough. From what I can remember, he now has about 3 million hit points, and I believe it is completely unsolvable even for good tanks. Pretty sure that he hits like a brick you know what. But of course, we shall find out. We'll go and try and solo him. He's nothing like the old days. You need a group, and he's untaggable, so I think everyone in the group will get credit. And of course that will then trigger off the Mets and the Reindeer quest. Now while we're over there, we'll have another little special treat as well. If I can find it, here we go, the Brazy Farmstead. Now if you know the game Plants vs Zombies, then yeah, you'll know why we're going to stop past there. I did promise we'd do that in another episode. So we're going to be in the area and we'll definitely do that. So there you go folks, all that and more to look forward to. What we'll do is we'll go through the uh, achievements in a little bit more detail and so you know exactly what you have to do to try and get this square away for your what a long sh strange trip it's been achievement so we'll have a close look at those we shall also of course head over and do this the quest to get medicine and we'll also have a look at the brazy farmstead over there and we'll wrap up any of the other christmas festivities so that you can enjoy this season in well hopefully as much as you're enjoying it in real life all right folks so that's it from me for now please join me in the next episode certainly look forward to seeing you then Certainly hope you're having a fantastically wonderful day wherever you are in the world leading up to Christmas. On behalf of myself, Sambo, and Seraphis, my level 85 Drenite Death Knight, it's us saying take care, we'll see you next time, and bye-bye. <laughs>